Congressman uh, Gachalian and distinguished uh, members from the uh, business sector. Good morning, sir. This is the uh, a brief safety uh, orientation for everyone. Now, common here for construction site is the, uh, the safety awareness and safety uh, orientation for everyone. So this is very brief. Number one is awareness of your surroundings. There are a lot of hazards present around us. So we have them labeled or provided with markings, such as ito pong yung mga, this is what we call the, uh, the bollards in red and yellow. When we say uh, it is uh, in red bollards, it means that you are prohibited. Yellow means that be very, very cautious. Part of those hazards identified here at site is yung tinatawag natin mga tripping hazards. Common po yan, so you need to be very mindful about it. Number two, preparation for the elements. As you have seen, it's quite humid right now. So we have provided a uh, hydration station right at the back. Free flowing po. Water is right there for everyone. Next is protection. So this is what we call the uh, personal protective equipment. Required is, number one is the hard hat. Second is the high visibility vest. If you are not yet fitted with those two requirements, we have a station at the back for you to be equipped with this required PPEs. And lastly, we are well prepared for any emergencies. We have staff right at the back as well in case of there will be needing assistance to be rendered with any first case issues. Okay? We have all the necessary equipment and personnel for our safety. So if you will be needing assistance, security and safety personnel are already in place. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Department of Transportation, I would like to welcome you all this morning for we have two momentous events happening today. First, the unveiling of the first train set of the North-South Commuter Railway, Malolos to Tutuban, hand-in-hand with the contract signing of the contract package NS02, rolling stock of the North-South Commuter Railway extension project. We would like to for formally start this program through a prayer, followed by the National Anthem of the Philippines and the Japan National Anthem. Please all rise for the invocation. May I, may I invite everyone to close our eyes, bow our heads, and let us feel the presence of our Lord. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you and we adore you. We just want to thank God for this special day that you have given us. Thank you for the good weather that we have this morning, a good health for everyone, and for keeping, uh, keeping us safe as we arrive. As we draw near to you, may you forgive us and cleanse us in all our sins so we may experience the fullness of your presence in this event. Lord, we pray for your guidance and blessings today. Be with us as we gather in this place. May you grace us with wisdom and understanding as we do our ceremonies. In the name of Jesus, we also speak protection and safety for all of us, knowing that we are covered with your, with your precious blood. May we glorify you all throughout our program, and may it run as smooth as it is planned. We love you, Lord, and all these things we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody say Amen. Amen. You may now take your seats. Joining us this morning are some of the guests who made this event possible. Please allow me to acknowledge the following. Starting with the Secretary of the Department of Transportation, Arthur Tugade. Sir. Ambassador of Japan to the Philippines, His, His Excellency Kazuhiko Koshikawa, Sir. Congre Congressman Wes Gatchalian of City of Valenzuela. 
General Manager June B. Magno from PNP. Ego Azukizawa and Sakamoto Takema from Japan International Cooperation Agency. Under Secretary and Assistant Secretaries of Department of Transportation. Representatives from consultant and contractors, thank you for joining us this morning. Let us all rise for the singing of the... Let us all rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the Japanese National Anthem. Please be seated. To formally begin our program, I would like to invite here on stage Mr. June B. Magno, the General Manager of the Philippine National Railways, for his opening remarks. Seek permission from everyone that I would remove my mask so um, I could uh, speak clearly. Uh, first of all, I want to greet uh, His Excellency Ambassador uh, Kazuhiko uh, Koshikawa, sir. Your Excellency, uh, good morning. And then my boss, my Strong-willed, as my people would say, strong-willed and a very committed leader, uh, Secretary Togade. Let's give them a big hand, please. Also, we have here our uh, friends from JICA, uh, our outgoing uh, our Chief Representative, Aigo-san. We will miss you. And uh, let's give him a, give, a, give him a big hand. He's been uh, really pivotal in uh, all these projects uh, with... PNR and DOTR, and uh, his replacement, uh, Takemasan. I hope, I hope we will get you drunk. <laughs> uh, 
and then uh, a very good friend of mine. You know, when I when uh, two years ago when the pandemic hit, I had the fortunate chance of being one of the first 100 uh, COVID victims in the Philippines. That uh, I only have. Uh, I was actually below 100 that WHO was tracking my case. I was a uh, PH43. That was my tracking code with the WHO. And there were only two people who called me, actually, to check if I was okay. Of course, my boss, uh, Secretary Togade, uh, and I love him for that. Let's give him a big hand. But also, there was a second person who called me. Uh, he's with us today. He will be the future mayor of Valenzuela, and that is Congressman Wes Cachalian. Let's give him a big hand. Uh, first, he was worried about me, then he was worried about the project. <laughs> and then I would like to greet uh, my uh, good partner, uh, Undersecretary TJ Batan, and um, who is not able to join us, he, Undersecretary Giovanni Lopez. Uh, he's been really helpful uh, with our projects. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, you said Anneli uh, Lontok is here also. Let's give them a big hand. Also, I would like to greet uh, uh, our good friends uh, from Sumitomo, Philippines, Seji uh, Takano san. Um, they have been really helpful with. Uh, uh, transport sector of the Philippines and uh, they are trailblazing uh, in behalf of the Japanese government and uh, they have been a solid partner uh, to us. Also, uh, I would like to uh, greet uh, my good friend, the president of uh, JTREK, uh, Takao Nish Nishiyama. Nishiyama-san, uh, welcome to the Philippines. And of course, our good partners uh, from our consultants, uh, Jorge Muller, and uh, uh, Saito-san and Maida-san. Let's give them a big hand. And um, their people like Jonathan and uh, all their people uh, in NS10 and GCR. Uh, they've been pivotal in our, in our work. And of course, I would not forget our uh, co-workers in the government from PNR and DOTR for their, uh, and the uh, uh, Project Management Office of NS, uh, NSCR. Uh, let's give everyone a big hand. A very committed group of people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our vision is plain and simple. Uh, we just want to move our citizens where they live and wait where they work within 55 minutes. That's really simple. And we want to move them um, within the cap uh, greater capital region, which is uh, Bulacan, uh, Pampanga, Metro Manila, Laguna, uh, and parts of uh, Tarlac. And we want to do that by 2028. It's a very plain and simple vision. However, it's a very monumental task. Today is an attribute uh, to realize that vision. Today manifests the cooperation and collaboration of our Japanese partners, PNR, DOTR, our consultants, our contractors, and most of all, the leadership of the Philippine government, uh, which is uh, President Duterte and uh, his alter ego, our secretary, Secretary Togade. Let's give him a big hand. <laughs> Always give a big hand when my boss is around. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> even with the challenges brought about by COVID-19 pandemic, and... Uh, motivated by the strong leadership of our secretary. Uh, today manifest our tangible contribution, which is the first train set is here. Uh, it's here. It's, uh, you could have not just the look and feel, but you could touch it, you could ride it. Uh, we have delivered it on time. And we would sign another set of train sets that, uh, that after we sign this contract today, we will have, if I'm not mistaken, JTREK was telling me, 648 cars uh, within uh, production in the next uh, couple of years. So let's give JTREK a big hand. And I want to say uh, congratulations in advance. We here, present, everyone here, 
remain to be committed to that dream. So um, I guess I, I would like to say uh, congratulations to all of you. Uh, so let's give everybody a big hand on this. Again, I am General Manager June B. Magno of the Philippine National Railways under the auspices of my boss, uh, Secretary uh, Tugade. It's a sunny day. Salamat po and magandang umaga. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, GM Jun Magno, for your wonderful opening remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming on stage the Undersecretary for Railways of the Department of Transportation, Timothy John R. Batan, to let us know more about this two infrastructure flagship project. Good morning, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. His Excellency Koshikawa Kazuhiko, Ambassador of Japan to the Philippines. My boss, DOTR Secretary Art Tugade. JICA's outgoing and incoming Chief Representatives, Mr. Ego Azukizawa and Mr. Sakamoto Takema. Congressman Wes Gachalian. Takao Nishiyama, President of Japan Transport Engineering Company, or JTREC, Seiji Takano and Masanori Honda of Sumitomo Corporation, my partner in the railway sector, PNR General Manager Jun Magno, fellow public servants, friends from the media, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In July 2019, or two years and eight months ago, the DOTR and PNR signed Contract Package 03 of the North-South Commuter Railway System covering the first 104 train cars for the 147 kilometers, 35 stations NSCR system. At that time, the DOTR promised to increase the operational train fleet of the Philippine Railway Network from the 224 train cars that we inherited in July 2016 and increase this to more than 1,200 operational train cars ordered ongoing manufacturing and operational by 2022. Today, March 18, 2022, the administration of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte through the Build, Build, Build program and under the leadership of our indefatigable and strong-willed DOTR Secretary, Secretary R. Tugade, the DOTR is proud to report that we are now well into delivering on our commitment to increase the Philippines' operational train fleet by five-fold. Mula po sa namana, dinatnan, at inumpisahan nating 224 na mga bagon noong Hulyo 2016, Ngayon po ay abot na sa 743 na mga bagon ang ating nabili at lahat ng mga bagon ng LRT1 at MRT3 ay atin na pong na-restore at napatakbo sa ilalim ng Build, Build, Build program. To run down on this aggressive and accelerated expansion of our train fleet, in 2020, 37 brand new train cars and 5 locomotives started operating for the PNR. In January 2021, delivery started for the 120 brand new fourth generation train cars for the LRT1. In September 2021, delivery started for the 108 brand new train cars for MRT7. In August 2021, the contract was signed for the first nine train cars for PNR Bicol, which are now ongoing manufacturing. As of 2021, 43 train cars have been rehabilitated and restored to operations for LRT1 and all train cars for MRT3 are now operational. And today, as part of our back-to-back -back milestone ceremony, we will be unveiling the first eight out of 104 train cars 
for the NSCR system, and we will also be signing the contract for an additional 304 train cars also for the NSCR system. And finally, in the next few weeks, following Secretary Tugade's commitment to work, work, work to the last day of this administration, the DOTR and PNR will be signing another contract for the 56 Airport Express train cars for the NSCR system. Dalawang daan, dalawang put apat na bagun po ang ating nadatnan, magiiwan po tayo ng higit sa isang libong bagun na na order ongoing manufacturing at tumatakbo ngayong 2022. With all its civil works contracts awarded and ongoing construction, and with its trains al already attempted to be implemented at least three times from 2004 to 2016, this is already the fourth attempt, ladies and gentlemen, is finally going beyond plan, 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 is finally going beyond drawing, 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 and is finally going beyond talk, talk, talk. In doing expansion of the Philippines railway network, happening at record scale and at record speed, would not be possible without the unwavering support of our partners from the international development community and the global railway industry. And to that, we recognize and we thank our partners from the government of Japan and from the Japan International Cooperation Agency for their fast and sure support and the 786 billion short engineering company or JTRAC and Sumitomo Corporation for reliably delivering on this contract package 03, not just on time, but also with best in class quality and also with value for money. Procured transparently, credibly and efficiently in partnership with the procurement service of the DBM and compliant with both JICA and local procurement guidelines, the two rolling stock or trains contract packages for NECR, contract package 03 for 104 train cars and contract package N02, which will be signed later for 304 train cars, generated total savings of 15 billion pesos during procurement. That is just for two contract packages alone. From the nine railway contracts that we started with and that we inherited in 2016, contract package NS02 will be the 40th railway with each contract having an average amount of 20.41 billion pesos. Indeed, with projects approved, financing secured, contracts awarded, and construction and deliveries already ongoing, we are not only on track, but we are also full steam ahead to realizing President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's promise of ushering in the Philippines' golden age of infrastructure and delivering a more comfortable life for every Filipino. Thank you and good morning to all. Thank you, Yusek TJ, for briefing us with the projects. And to know more about the highlights of the project and train sets, let us watch this video. The North-South Commuter Railway System, a priority project under the Build, Build, Build program of the Duterte administration, is the largest railway project to date. The NSCR project also holds the distinction of being the single largest infrastructure project of the Asian Development Bank and the longest commuter railway project of the Japan International Cooperation Agency. The NSCR Phase 1, despite being started in 1994 as the manila clark North Rail Project, only started construction in February 2019. Under the relentless leadership of Secretary Arthur P. Tugade, the Department of Transportation has been paving the way for the golden era of the Philippines Railway Network, with record-breaking investments made in record scale and time. In order to fast-track in providing safe and convenient transportation for the Filipinos, 
The NSCR system is divided into different phases. Phase 1 consists of a 38-kilometer railway system with a total of 10 stations. Phase 2 will have a 53.1-kilometer railway system that extends Phase 1 from Malolos, Bulacan to Clark International Airport while Phase 3, with its 56-kilometer railway system, extends Phase 1 from Tondo, Manila to Calamba, Laguna. In August 2019, Contract Package 03, which consisted of a 104-car rolling stock, was awarded to the Joint Venture of Japan Transport Engineering Company and Sumitomo Corporation. The eight-car train set can accommodate up to 2,282 passengers and will be the longest and fastest electric multiple unit in the Philippines to date, spanning 160 meters and maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The rolling stock will feature state-of-the-art systems like LCD screens for passenger guidance and information and CCTV for security. By the time of operation, the rolling stock will reduce travel time from Malolos to Tutuban from 1 hour 30 minutes to just 30 minutes. Manufacturing started in January 2021 and the first eight cars rolled out to the test track in Yokohama, Japan last September 2021. In October 2021, the first train set passed the factory acceptance tests and is confirmed compliant with various international standards like JIS and ISO. Preparations were done to ensure safe and timely delivery of the train set. The train set arrived at Manila Port in November 2021. After clearing customs clearance, one by one, it was transported from Manila Port to its new home in Malanday Depot early December 2021 and was assembled to its eight-car configuration. Despite the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on the global railway construction industry and two decades of setbacks, the DOTR and PNR under the Duterte administration will now present the newest train set of the Philippines to the Filipino people. And now, for the most awaited part of our program, May I invite everyone to witness the unveiling of the first train set of NSCR. Are we all ready? You may please stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in the unveiling of the first train set of NSCR. It's here in three, two, one.
on, we would just like to send a request for everyone to momentarily vacate the event property area for the canine inspection. Sekto Gade, may we request that you lead the ringing of the bell. At this point, may we... Thank you, sirs. At this point, we will let our guests inspect the train. May we request GM June Magno to lead us on the train inspection together with the distinguished guest. For our friends from the media, you may use the stairs on the right side of the stage for easier access. <laughs> 